Okay, uh, welcome to the uh, final part of this crash course in uh, data analysis uh, using Excel. Uh, I hope you've had, um, you know, some, uh, you've had, uh, you've had uh, uh, some interesting times and uh, gotten valuable information from what we have covered so far. We have uh, started with what is data, types of data, why analyze using Microsoft Excel. We've gone through some hands-on stuff with um, cell-based calculations and formula, logical and lookup functions, text analysis. Of course, we've gone through pivot tables and charts in Excel. I beg your pardon, not chat, not text analysis, but pivot tables and charts in Excel. Next now, which is final, will be the uh, text analysis. Now, before I get into the weeds of it, I uh, have a, a high-level demonstration that I have for you. What is text analysis? That's something that may be meaningful for us. It's uh, a process of using computational techniques to extract meaningful information from a text. So, And the goals of, um, of text analysis are text parsing, just to break down text into smaller components like words or phrases. We'll get into that shortly. Sentiment analysis that has to do with determining the emotional tone behind a series of words to gain an understanding of attitudes, opinions, and emotions expressed. Uh, there's keyword extraction, which is uh, trying to extract information, important information, words or phrases uh, that will best represent or fit the main content of the text and there's also language detection in order to be able to identify which language in the text is written now there are various text functions so many of them but we're just going through a few of them today uh you know there's the left there which is this extracts a given number of characters from the left we see that and this is the syntax as the right that extract a given number of characters from the right. And then this is the syntax as well. And then from the mid as well, spe specifically extracting numbers or characters from a text string or starting at any position that you specify. And there's a trim that uh, removes spaces from a text string except for single spaces between the words. And this is the, um, this is the, uh, uh, syntax for that from a function for that what I want us to do now I have some prepared examples for us here okay so you have something like this you know familiar with names like this okay what we want to do is to let's see how we can bring them together so if this if, if you have Rosalie Mullins how can I merge them into one cell how that's what we're about to do so we say equal to and then we use the concatenate function concatenate so with the concatenate uh, you miss it so could the concatenate join several text string into one text string so when you use the concatenate you are using you're joining several text strings into one text string so that's what you use the concat that's what the concatenate function does so the first text is b3 Okay, B3, we apply the comma. Then we want to put the space between the first name and the last name. So after the comma, we'll put the space. And then now click on uh, 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 Mullins, right, which is C3, and then Control Enter. So we have, oh, I'm oh, sorry. So let me, I got, I, I got that wrong. I beg your pardon. Uh, so I should add here the in order to put the space, I need to put the uh, the quotation mark. Yeah, quotation mark. So watch this. If I do that, and then my quotation mark should also come here. Okay, 